Welcome back, guys. This is Alan here. And today I'll be going over a question that I've been asked a lot is, what would I do or how I would relearn ICT or how I would even learn trading in general if I had to restart, All right? So I wanted to make this video um, from the ICT playlist. You know, his whole YouTube library here is extremely helpful, right? So I'll go over what I personally would do. Uh, and I will teach you guys kind of how I would back test it and practice. Okay, so the first playlist I'll definitely watch is if I could go back and tell myself what I know now. I do believe this playlist is very very underrated because a lot of people don't really watch that playlist. But to me, I felt that it was an extremely important uh, playlist because this is exactly what ICT would do if he was younger. It literally says in the title, right? That's what you should be watching first from ICT himself, okay? The second one I would definitely recommend is the ENDS series, okay? This end series really changed my mindset on how I look at trading because it teaches you how to make ends meet, how to think in a way where it does not inspire greed, okay? And also thinks, it also teaches you how to take trading as a business, okay? And I feel like that's very, very helpful and very um, important if you are trying to do trading full time, okay? And the last but not least, of course, ICT mentorship. I would not, you know, rec not recommend anything more in this whole playlist than the ICT mentorship because the ICT mentorship is loaded with good, um, with good nuggets and good gems that it really, really helps a lot of beginning traders, okay? So even if you are chartered and you're not being, you're not able to find consistency or profitability, Forget everything you learn from the Charter Mentorship and go through episode two to 10, okay? Do not go past episode 10 because this is going to be a little bit more advanced and I do not want you guys to be confused about that, okay? So episode two to 10, that's all you really need. And once you start practicing episode two to 10 on the charts, I'm going to show you guys right now how, how I would practice it. So I'm going to go over the order again, right? So when, uh, if I could go back and tell myself what I know now, end series and then mentorship episode two to ten okay and once and while you're going through these mentorship videos okay i would recommend just one a day okay one every two days would be more than this is perfect okay one every two days would be perfect so think about that one every two days is about eight videos about 16 days let's say you take a day off whatever in a month you can finish episode two to ten if you can't finish episode two to ten in a month you gotta work on your discipline okay very simple episode two to 10, and you're not just watching it. You're taking notes, you're watching with captions on, and you're pausing, you're going to review it. You're going to look at what he's telling you to bring your eyes to, okay? So this is exactly how I would go over uh, trading, right? If I had to restart. And right now I'm going to go to trading view really quick just to show you guys how I would really uh, back test uh, when I'm learning ICT. So I want you guys to use the replay button. If you guys don't have it, I highly recommend you guys to get that. Just so like, you guys can start live testing is what I would say. So when I say back test, right, I'm talking about how you're not looking at the chart and say, hey, look, this there's a potential buy here, fair value, you have a buy here, stop loss here, and then let's say my TP is going to be above this high here. That's not what I'm saying when you're back testing, okay? This is okay to do once you start learning it. But when you're back testing it, I want you to back test with live results, as in you can use this forward button to see. So you can see what price would want to do. Like uh, you're anticipating what price wants to do and you're seeing what plays out in your favor because that's how you're going to practice live. When it's live, you're not going to be able to see it happen and then say, oh, I would have bought, I'm going to buy here. Like, it doesn't work that way. Okay. It works as in as the candles are printing. Okay. The only thing beneficial about the replay button is that you don't have to wait through that time. Okay, so every candle is an hour. You don't have to wait through that time. So, for example, right here, this is a London kill. Okay, I see, you know, South Side of Korea been taken out. Maybe you can run run for this high here. Anticipate this high being ran here before maybe dropping lower to then take out this liquidity here or even this one here. That's what I want to see. Okay, but let's say I'm not going to buy here because I don't really see anything for me to buy, but I'm anticipating for the run highs before dropping lower to take out these lows. Okay, so let's just see how this plays out. Okay, yeah, there's a run first. Run higher, All right? Waiting for the model. First drop, if it comes back in, I'll be looking for it. So I do see this beautiful breaker right here that comes back right into it. 
So let's just say I would want to take this cell. Okay, let's say, you know, if you're dropping lower time for you take the cell or even take the cell here. Okay, so let's say you take the cell, you're taking to this low here, or even, you know, pass, let me give it 10 more pips right there. That'll be the cell that you would want to take or whatnot. Okay, this is, this, this is the cell you want to take. Let's see how it plays out. Okay, there you go. This is how you would want to backtest, not, oh, I'm going to see a trade that played out right now. Like, oh, I see that is reversing. I'm going to take this trade here, hold it to here or here, and my stop loss would be here. Like, that's not how you backtest. You backtest by we're using live data. When it's showing you live, like we are able to use this button, that's how you backtest. You want to see if you're correct when you're anticipating moves or you're anticipating um, price to move in a certain direction, all right, towards your liquidity or whatever your target is. Okay, so that's how I usually backtest, and I would want you guys to backtest like that. I don't want you guys to look in the charts and say, "Hey, let me see what I would have what, what I would have traded." Oh yeah, I would have traded, you know, the sell here, right? I would have took the sell here, right? Stop loss here at this high here, and I'll take it to this low here, or take it this low plus 10 pips. I don't want you guys to do that. That doesn't help anyone. That does not help yourself, okay? You're you're lying to yourself because you know if this was live, you, you would be hesitant. So for example, here, you're like, oh, do I want to buy or sell here? I don't know. It's up to you, whatever you see. Let's say you say, I want to buy here, okay? Even though this kind of looks like it could go lower, but whatever. So you want to buy here, okay? Like, let's see this buy. Oh, wow, there's your buy. This is how you want to practice. Okay, you practice by catching these, like uh, practicing these setups before it happens, because this is what's going to happen live. You're going to happen to see these moves go away. This is just a random trade. Don't be like, oh, my God, you caught it to the pit. Like, no, this is just, I just threw that on. Okay, don't be like, oh, my God, you can, you're going to say no. Okay, just back test like this with the replay button to help you out. Okay, don't just say, hey, I see a trade here. I would have taken this one. I see a sell here. I take No, that doesn't help anyone. Like I said, okay. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, I'm more than happy to help you guys. And I'm more than happy to answer all your questions, right? You can drop a comment. You can DM me. I answer majority of my DMs. If you're not like trying to spam or scam me, I answer majority of my DMs. I, I answer almost all the comments, right? Or I try to. And um, there's no shame in asking for help. Like this is a game where you need to swallow your pride and ego and just say, hey, I've been at this for two years. I'm not consistent. What do I need to do to change this? Okay, this might be the video for you. You know, this might be the step by step for you to relearn ICT. What's wrong with that? There's, what is wrong with learning, relearning ICT? Because you're afraid of all the time you've wasted before. Well, what if you were doing it the incorrect way or in a way where it's an unhealthy manner? There should be nothing wrong with restarting and relearning ICT because you yourself want to accomplish this trading goal or your trading plan. Okay, this is how I would do it again. Like, this is how I would do it. OK, and that's going to kind of wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'm going to wrap it up really quick by showing you guys exactly what I would do again. So if I go back and tell myself what I know now and ICT mentorship episode two to ten back test live. OK, and you do it for like two, three months. I'm not even joking. Do it for two, three months and let me know if this doesn't help you. I promise you it will help you. OK, I promise it will help you. OK, so that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope